All right, so my cut's back here a little bit easier. Got a wild, got wild on that one. If I could have maintained more of that, that would have been ideal. But they are actually pretty tight back here on the back. To within quarter inch, three eighths of an inch, a little bit more like half to three quarter there. Really tight right there. I could just weld that right there. And then down there, still pretty tight. We've got a piece here that I'd be able to fit in here, no problem. So a little bit different game plan back here. We've got thin strips and just, like I said, a couple tabs here and there. And that's how I'm putting these back together. If you're doing bushwhacker fender flares, it's probably what I would suggest. But you notice I still have movement here. But yeah, let's get after it. All right, there we go. One patch in. That's about all I got time for today. I think I've noticed about our weather patterns is I got to get it done before noon because afternoon the wind starts coming in and then it blows my gas, the shield gas away. I have never claimed to be any good at sheet metal. I grind all this off just to see that I'm actually getting penetration between the two pieces. I wonder, did I choose too light a gauge for my patch panels? It's a little bit thinner than the factory sheet metal, but not by much though. Maybe one gauge heavier would have been better with this. But it's in there. I just tack after tack after tack after tack after tack until I actually get something to stick. And she's nice and solid. All right, got tired of how long it's taken using 30 wire. And 30 wire is kind of your general purpose, semi-structural. Went down to the big blue store. They have 25, and that's about as low as they go. I'd probably like 20, but we'll see if 25 can go. Other problem I had is the tips they had for 25 wire we're not the ones for my welder. So I have one 25 tip. I better not screw this one up. The other thing I do is I consult the chart. This has always been pretty handy that inside the door, they've got a nice chart that tells me what I'm doing. It tells me where C, C25, the gas I'm using, tells me 25 tips, where they're at, what speed and setting should be a good, good start point for me. So somewhere around B2 or B3 is about what I need to do if this works the way I think it should. We're about to find out. Playing around with it, seeing what I can do. Just little tack welds here and there to fill in pen holes. My older brother, certified welder that he is, he's not here though. Where is he when I need him? He would call these bird droppings. I would agree. They suck. But I'll have to, you know, I'm not much of a welder. I'm going to have to be much of a grinder. So I'll grind all this down nice and neat, see if I filled in those pen holes. It is solid, but I'm still trying to play around, trying to figure out. It seems to me I'm just not getting a good enough ground. I mean, I'm right here on bare metal. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand why I wouldn't have a good ground there, but that just seems to be the way it's behaving. It kind of baffles me. That's about the only place I can get a ground. That seems close enough to it. There's no break there, but I still, it's like there's grounding issues right there. There only. Down here, I threw some tacks in there. I got the bacon sizzle like I'm supposed to. Up here, doing pretty good. Until I fouled up the only .025 tip I have. So I got to go get some more of those. I'm out of time for today. So I got a bunch of tacks on that one. Not yet there where I want to be totally secured in. Just tack, tack, tack all the place. Going to do another one here, another one here, and then some down here. As you see, this moves, but that is actually pretty solid. So doing pretty good. There we go. Now I got the speed, the heat, everything dialed in. Making nice, beautiful little tack welds here and there. Looks ugly right now. Grind down these and nice and neat. And this area is never going to be seen anyway. If it was, a little bit of body work could be smooth. Funny thing is, I'm tired as can be. I spent the whole morning training with a 18 time world champion in karate. Smoked us, smoked us good, really good workout. The fantastic thing here is sometimes when you have a problem set like this one in front of me, it helps to go shift gears and put your brain into a different circumstance, go fight a whole different problem set, and then come back. Come back to the one that was bothering you. All of that was bothering me. I had the wire speed wrong, the heat too high. So dial the heat down and wire speed up. And I start getting to those results. Much right, so better. I'm not fully closing this up. I'm just putting tabs in place that hit everything, and make them solid. These two pieces were close enough together. I just zapped right there. Stitch there, stitch there, stitch there. And now it makes all of this solid again, all of this solid again. I'll tell you what, once I got that, that welder dialed in, for my little, what was that thing, a MIG Pack 115 or big MIG Pack 15, so 220 volt, one of the smaller ones, on B and three and a half for speed, so B for heat, three and a half for speed, and I got dialed in, 
things went lots faster. I probably did all of these at the same time it took me screwing around with that one. That's about as ugly as it gets right there. The only reason I grind is just to check that I've got the penetration I wanted and they are solid. So I'm there. Now this means the next day I come out to work on this, I can strip the Line X off of this quarter, making the truck more and more white.